Some of her accomplishments lang naman, she is the champion of 20, the 2021 Red Bull BC1. Coach me, and 
Also, I learned from my first teacher, B Girl Valpal, also B Boy Villain and B Boy Impact, all part of my crew uh -huh. underground flow, and they're from California. Um, and yeah, I just learned from them. But honestly, with breaking, everyone just is kind of self taught. You just have to like ask around and learn from different people. Yeah. Are the highest point rankings possible that you can get for an Olympic qualifying event? Okay. Um, and they're only going to count four from this year um, from each athlete to be ranked um, mm -hmm. on like how to qualify into the Olympics. So I have to do at least four of these. So um, you have to do at least four? I Actually, I can do as many or as little as I want, but they're going to count a maximum of four. Right. So it, okay, I see. Yeah, okay. and then there's other events like a World Championships event in Belgium in September this year where if you win that one, you go straight to the Olympics. And if you get second to sixth place, from, from my understanding, um, you go to the Olympic Qualifier Series, which is right before the Olympics next wow. year. You got it down. Huh? There's <laughs> more, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many are going to qualify for the initial break dance competition in Paris? Um, I think it's top 16 for Olympics in 2024. Wow. So how exciting is it for you to be representing the Philippines now starting this year? Because I know you grew up in, in the U.S. Yeah, so I did grow up in the U.S. But for me, when I was trying to think if I want to do the Olympics, um, once I realized that Philippines, representing Philippines was an actual um, option that's possible for me, um, it brought on a deeper meaning and purpose and value for me for this goal. Because yes, Olympics is a very big goal, I think for any athlete that um, goes for the Olympics. And for me, I've won representing the Philippines as part of the national team of dance sport. Yeah, that's super. So you just got your passport. Mm -hmm. And so the news is that great dancing is going to be included for the first time at the Paris Olympics. Yes, right? breaking is going to be in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Okay, and are there several events or is there just one event? So yeah, for right now it's just one event. It's just one-on-one um, -on -one battles and it's a uh, B-Boys has their own category and then the B-Girls, they have our own category. Nice. So we hear that you are like really a top contender to to win a gold actually um how do you feel about that yeah so i've been battling for over 10 years in breaking uh, worldwide and i've won some pretty big world titles uh in that time especially in the recent years so i feel really confident and obviously still pushing um there's a lot of really good egos young egos coming out that are also winning so um it's still tough competition but overall i still am confident um that i'm remaining Yes. So who are your strongest competitors? Who would be your strongest competitors for the Olympics? So there's a big girl named Ami from Japan. Okay. Um, and I've been aged to like um, really yeah. perform like like well and do well. And I think um, for me, as I started to grow up, I just wanted to make the best out of what I already had. Yeah. And so to do that, um, I decided I want to kind of take things into my own hands and with the help of Lee Jay, my manager but also still like family like I, I am able to make my own decisions in a way that's still like guided and protected and supported but it's, it's still hard <laughs> yeah yeah but you seem to be doing a great job thank you so um a little bit more education for me so as a pro uh breaker you so you have endorsements and all that from around the world and are there also prize money competitions yeah, so I'm sponsored by Red Bull and Nike, and also um, there is prize money for pretty much all of the global level and yeah. even national level, and even like local level competitions, there's always like prize money um, for the winner, and then yeah. they're trying to, um, because breaking is so very new, they're just not trying to, I would say starting like maybe one or two years ago, um, really implementing more like second, third, and fourth place um, incentives. Yeah. So your next, I would say, big, big, big dream would be to start winning medals for the Philippines. From a lot of the dancers in the hip hop community here, um, I would say strong and passionate are two words. I think I still, um, I want to keep being in those spaces so I can learn about the energy here. But I would say I've, I've been able to be around a lot of the community, the hip hop community worldwide, and it's kind of synonymous like around the world. It's it's. We live on the values of peace, love, unity, and having fun. 
um, and that's like a common thing that everyone in hip hop like learns, everyone in breaking. And so I see that here as well, um, but also very strong. I feel like there's such like a warrior type spirit here.